just want to talk about how we treat treat people and how that impacts on everything. Um, I was listening to an audio book, which put it in another perspective that I hadn't looked at, but then I thought I'm also guilty of doing some of this stuff. Um, basically, it was a father that would score in his son every day. Um, without you know, they're not like beating with a belt or something. It's more. First thing you see the kid in the morning, you'll be like, have you washed your hands before breakfast? Have you got your homework from last night? And then the last thing we'd see before he went to school was, you, you got everything, make sure you got everything before you go. Make sure you're not late for the bus. And then when you get home at night, it's like, what have you done to your clothes? You're, it looks like you've been rolling in mud, you know? It's all driving negative, negative stuff. But where it changed was the father was sat there reading his paper, like, so sort of last thing at night, and his son was like so timidly looking at the father and he's like you know wants to approach but doesn't want to approach and the father's like what do you want you know what what's the issue you know so his son just went and hugged him and that's what he just wanted to hug before he went to bed that's when the father realized his approach was all wrong and in fact how how did this son like see his father because he'd been negative to him all day long you know and this isn't like just a one-off it's just the way um, a lot of things are pre-programmed in our lives because we don't see a child as a, a parent often we see a little man or a little little woman you know so sometimes we get it all wrong um, but that guy actually realized where his mistake was he his child was a child and he then looked at how he could change his perspective because you still have to go through all this stuff this is just life but it's how you deal with it is important in this case it was like with the homework instead of like have you done your homework it's more to do with spending time with your son doing the homework with them going through it spend a bit of time a bit of family time you know that stuff that people don't really see these days um, and developing a relationship with a lot of fond memories and family life because let's face it family life has been driven out of us all the time you know in the, in the UK there the, the mother being at home all day and the father being at work is is becoming a myth <laughs> you know it's disappearing it, it's why I don't have a UK family life I have a life where my wife looks after the children I have a life where I go out and earn the money at the same time we're happy we have a family life I have uh, kids that have always got a parent around them it's not always achievable for everybody but from my perspective I'm still very much a family man in that way and I my children are everything to me but I want to take the perspective a bit further than that because if you look at the way we treat everybody there's always something behind it um, I can be quite aggressive sometimes business wise and okay it's pushed me forward a lot but at the same time there's some stuff I think I could have approached that a better way and this is why I'm sort of reevaluating how I look at things um, because I'm the first to admit the world is not perfect and I don't know everything and I don't approach everything in the perfect way um, life is about continuous development right now I'm going through some of the ways um, I communicate with people work with people and looking to improve my technique generally um, I say technique because it's more to do with uh, a, a way of uh, bringing myself forward uh, in a po more positive way because uh, I can be quite aggressive business wise but at the same time I could get the same results or better results by a different approach and this is why I'm going through all this process myself at the minute but it, the reason I'm sharing it is a lot of this stuff is making a lot of sense and some of it is like starting to um, make me pause a bit more uh, to think about things uh, instead of driving driving a nail <laughs> uh, and sometimes a nail in the coffin should I say um, but the relationship thing where the father sees that a the family life is being destroyed by the way we have to conform 
but it's not always needed in that way. You still have to get the same results, but at the same time, there's always another approach. There's a, a positive approach and a negative approach. We're generally taught the negative approach um, through family. You know, our parents did it, our parents' parents did it, but it doesn't mean it always has to be that way. If we didn't like it as a kid, it was wrong. <laughs> You know, and people say, well, it, it didn't harm us. Well, the fact that we're doing the same to our kids, we'd actually say, well, yes, it is. It's not right. But in the same way where you start to see, instead of a little adult there, um, where you're going, why haven't you done this? Why haven't you done that? Because you're thinking like the way you think, you need to start thinking, that's a child there. But, you know, that's, that's a child. I mean, I do that anyway, but <laughs> I'm just giving you an example. <laughs> but in business, it's also similar because I find it frustrating when people can't understand something I'm trying to teach them um, programming for example programming is one of those things you either get or don't you know it's about a bit like new languages sometimes you get people that are like let my wife that'll be fluent in months and there's going to be me that'll still be struggling in a year I don't pick it up that well my mind is more um, mathematics engineering um, that way orientated words although I say a lot of them languages have a different concept because they have little meaning to me um, see maths makes a lot of sense to me because there's an equation there's a result that there's an output so that makes sense you know um, like stress levels on a piece of steel it makes sense because if you go over it it breaks you know that's logical to me but languages <laughs> I battle with them but I'll give you two examples of how I approach something first one is uh, my wife well I'll give you a few my wife batters me um, if I'm trying to teach my wife something she'll tell me stop let me get a pen and paper and do it step by step by step that works for my wife um, for me, it's a bit frustrating because I I've always got something to do. So she, she's very good at saying just stop and like let's go through this. The other way is doing a YouTube video. I do these like videos even for call center use and other things, and it's to teach somebody how to do something because the process is the same. It's like click 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 click, close that, move that, da da da. The process is always the same. But what you'll find is you've got two types of people. One, I would have to sit there with and teach them how to do it, step by step by step. And the other one wants to start work straight away and doesn't want to sit with me. The one that wants to start work straight away will forget things because they didn't absorb it in the same way. So what they do is they have the YouTube videos. Because they'll watch the video, got that, off they go. Ten minutes later, it's like, what did they do next? Go back to the video, do do and that's how they work you know they they sort of like go backwards and forwards until they're hundred percent right the other people will sit there and go through the motions they'll go right so I've got to click this right what do I do next uh, move this and they learn it in a very specific way they'll they'll like lock on to that and generally they don't make as many mistakes as the other people that were half an hour ahead of them because their process is right you know once it's locked in there it's very hard to change it but they understand it fully and will stick to that where that falls down is if something changes um, for example like it's a bit like uh, having Windows 2000 and somebody gives them Windows 2007 uh, sorry uh, Windows 2013 uh, Windows 7 oh sorry Windows 7 so I'm getting a bit confused so they go from Windows 2000 to Windows 7 and they would just switch it on and what do I do now and sometimes they just freeze they literally just freeze and the whole point is with those people is you really need to understand the fact is they're often people that you need to uh, be more polite with um, because they have a process and they're a bit wary about asking if something's wrong or right once they've gone that because you've already taught them so they don't really want to bother you too much and 
And this is why I learned to change my approach on a lot of things. Um, because I'm used to like fast pace, get it done, get it done. But having the call center, a lot of these things developed with me. Um, to the point where if you ask any of the call center agents to work for me, they all want to come back. Um, there's a reason for it. It's the way we work. We're not like a normal business. We don't do the 9 to 5 mentality. What we do is we're sales orientated. You hit your sales target, you go to sleep, go home, go for a beer, I don't care. Um, we're family orientated. The kid's sick, we give money for kids' medicines. So you know, it's not like a normal business. Um, because that engagement does not create barriers where like a kid's sick not my problem I'm your boss you know you just take your problems and take them out the door it's a family orientated environment and with that the productivity goes up um, I remember we were working alongside Abid Roof which is another call center in Cebu and 40 of their agents were the equivalent of six of mine on sales results and there's a lot of reasons for that uh, and a lot of it is based around how I treat people how the business functions and at the same time giving people the flexibility to actually uh, be their best when they need to be and not just be drones made the business function a lot better than everybody else had done the, the, the uh, solar contracts we, we had a very high selling rate and we did very well out of solar but the, the point is getting on the business side it's all about relationships and you've got to look at these things in different perspectives um, and I just want to talk it talk a bit about that child relationship because that was an important one because uh, I think that's one that people can take into most life situations by looking at the person that's doing whatever they're doing be the traffic warden um, giving you a ticket. Sometimes you can talk your way out of it. You know, if if you approach it in the right way. Uh, sometimes you can, but then those people they've sometimes got other issues in their lives. <laughs> uh, could be that they've got a hit target or they get fired. I don't know. But at the end of the day, it's being treating everybody as a human being, treating everybody with respect, but also seeing that we're all individuals we don't all learn the same way we don't all, don't all have the same lifestyles the same choices the same um, education and career but the point is treat everybody with respect and you'll find everyone treats you with respect if you turn around and also look at how some of these things you've done previously have gone negative or positive you, you've got to gauge how did you treat the person I mean my wife is fantastic with dealing with people um, when we come out of Cebu we actually had 12 suitcases and we were over by 8 and we didn't pay, pay any extra to get those on the plane that's my wife dealing with that I deal with the immigration officials when it comes to passports and things because we handle things in a very different way um, and that's where we know our weaknesses and strengths anyway thanks for watching i'm back i'm going on as usual let me know what you think